Hi guys, this is James and welcome back to video 3 of the membership setup tutorial series for Optimize Press. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of um, customizing a few of your pages using the different templates and also a couple of the custom options available to you with the different templates that we have in Optimize Press. So the first thing I want to show you is how to set up some of the custom options on the pages that you see. So for example, on the home page we have this text here. This text can be set in the Optimize Press membership settings, which we did cover in video one briefly. This text is set if I go over to membership options and then you'll see if you scroll down here we have the membership dashboard welcome bar and this is where you set that text and you can see I've used these strong tags which basically just highlight that text in bold so that's how you would change that text there this text here on the left hand side the membership, members dashboard this little bit of text and the icon they're set on the individual page settings so if I go to my members home page scroll down to the members options below the main content and you can see here I've got members sidebar, I've put members, members dashboard sidebar text, I've got the members navbar title. Now this is an override of what we have in the general settings, so you don't actually have to enter anything there if you just want to leave it as whatever you set in your general settings. And we have the icon selector here, so I've chosen the dashboard icon. If you want to use your own icon, you can upload it to your WordPress site and then enter the URL here. You can also activate a sidebar widget by ticking this box here, and I'll come on to that in a later video in this series. Um, if you're using a content page, you can also select whether the video appears before or after your content. And the module page, now let me explain this. With the module page, you can see that the content pages below this module page have these nice icon images here. Now these can be set for your pages um, you, what you would do is you would go to the content page that you're editing so for example if I edit freelancing business models I would edit this page I would scroll down and you can see here at the moment I've got the module page thumbnail is set as a plain folder but you've got different options here depending on the style you want so you, if it might be a, a PDF document that you're, that you're giving in this module so you'd select documents alternatively you can upload your own image here um, and this will override any setting on this here. On the content pages, you can also disable the module title and the content title. So if you see on my content page here, I've got the module title, which will be whatever the module the parent module is, and I've got the page title. If I check these boxes here, those options will be hidden. And the final thing for content pages is this description here. And this description is what will be shown on your module page so this as you can see here discover the many different business models is the same setting that I have here on my content page a couple of other things within Optimize Press we have a few other templates which I'll just point out quickly we have the obviously the content the the home and the module we've covered the DAP login page if you're creating a site with digital access pass you would select this as your login page and then you would use their short code for your login uh, to show your login form if you're creating an error page for DAP or wishlist you would use this template here and then add, add your error code uh, error code or your error message there a general page is basically a page that doesn't have a module title um, so you can just use that for whatever you want within your membership site the login page, generally I would ignore this option. You can use this login page if your system has a built-in redirect, but generally speaking, we don't use this login page. And when I come to cover different um, integration tutorials, I'll tell you which, which page to use for your login page. We also have a no sidebar design. Now this looks a bit like this. And sorry, let me show you the right template here we go so this is a membership uh, no sidebar so it has no sidebar on the left hand side so if you're using a forum where they give you the forum code to add into your page you could use a template like this and again you can hide the um, the, the title of the page if you wish um, now we also have a non-member page and the non-member page basically will not show the normal WordPress uh, members navigation bar. Instead, we can customize this in the general settings. And this will basically just be a page that you can use if your members are not logged in. Uh, 